Um, some bad boy mower. I got the uh, color 700 series, 747, 27, 28 horsepower. Uh, the motor actually is a piece of shit, but uh, that's beside the point. Um, what I'm doing is this company took their shit out of America and had a bunch of dumbasses over in China build their shit. And they designed it horribly, too. And this air filter system, show you how dumbass they are about building shit. This sucks air in through here to cool the engine and it blows and then they had these holes right here to blow the dirt and bullshit that this sucks in right here into the damn air filter. Stupid, dumb, idiotic, asinine design. And what I do, I fix that shit. So I took a chisel and there's little pieces of plastic that's a triangle piece right, right in here. And I took that and I, you know, pushed down, pushed down, and right there, right there, and cleared that area out. It's on both sides right here. I just cleared all, all that plastic crap out of the way. And you can see the remnants right there of it. Um, cleaned it up. And I took PVC glue, the, uh, the purple stuff, which is kind of a flux. It's, it cleans all the stuff and, and prepares the surface for the glue. And that's not quite dry yet. I still see it moving. But I put that all around there and I cut out a piece of just, um, it's kind of like a Lex tan that you'd put in a um, screen door. Just cut out a little piece and then I sanded the heck out of that. Give it a really good surface. And um, I glued that in that place right there. Uh, it, it'll be on both sides. Now I know you're seeing this screw right here and you're wondering what's going on. Well, there's these little stands that this cap right here, it, and it just belt, hits up against that. Make sure I can see that. And this is what holds this cap down. And underneath it, it's open. Now, I was trying to use a stopper to put in there because that, that would work, but I couldn't find the right sized one. So I cut a square piece and underneath it, uh, put the, um, the purple stuff, which is a, a flux, and then let it get you know good and clean. And, um, and I put that piece over there, and I drilled, I, first I drilled a, a, a decent sized screw hole and then I, I held that up in there and I drilled a small pilot hole and then screwed that in there to hold that piece in underneath and there because this would allow air to come in what I'm trying to do is make this whole thing it's going to be airtight and I'm going to uh, mount a air filter the uh, filter system that comes off this and so it's going to have three or four filters it's going to breathe through this thing gets an awful amount of dust and bull crap in there and i don't want to start go you know replacing motors and uh, i'll have to mod that's why i'm modifying this thing to make it live longer because these dumbasses can't build shit right you know um uh, but um, anyhow, to do, to do all this stuff, I'm isolating this air box away from this dust catcher. And that's all this is. Um, another mod I'm going to do later on, it'll be on this side, is that that oil filter has a cooler that will come off. Two lines will run up here. And I think i got to cut a section out and the air will blow through that cooler. That would be a good idea to put cooler oil through the engine. But anyhow, i got another video I'll do, and I'll do it up in a, one video. That tube come off, 
it'll be a cone style air filter and I'll put one of them wraps around it but when I put this cover when this cover goes back on I'm going to uh, seal on the inside and so make that air tight so that the air will have to come through this filter system it's not a optimum system uh, well yeah it is actually because it's better than stock anything better than stock is going to be optimum and so um, my original idea was to have a tube come off air and use one of them uh, Donaldson uh, top spins which it has this device that turns in there and it takes air and makes it go into a circle and heavy particles will throw out with that. Uh, tractors use that and uh, this, that's a neat system. It has no um, no uh, restrictions in it but uh, it's a neat system. But my system is going to be similar but it'll have a more surface area and filter area. So um, I'll do another one up when I get to that point but right now I'm going to let all this stuff dry um, and get you know good and set up this goes back like this now you can see how I doubled up the f double filters and one of these will come off and one one clean one will stay on um, man I mean like ever after every mow I'd have to clean this filter um, you know I, I want it to live and I got to do stuff like this to make it live because the dumbass, the dumbasses, these guys don't build crap right. Anyhow, uh, that was the cheapest motor that was on these things. But anyhow, uh, short video for now. I'll put another one on the back side of it of this video when I get the rest of it done. Anyhow, uh, catch you later. Okay, <clears throat> here's the lid. You see I got the four holes to correspond with the bottom of this tube. And I drilled a bunch of holes. I wanted to, to keep some strength in the lid, so I did multiple holes through there, so it still should be able to breathe good. And this is a gasket. What I'm going to do is take these side pieces and super glue them together because this is nice and um, thick and when it squishes down it'll make a good seal and so let me pull this off put that out of the way and this is the tube and you see I got these pieces which it's going to fit on like that and I got turnbuckles that are going to go on each side and that will pull us down and keep it in place and you can see down inside there if I line it up right that to me there's there should be plenty of breathing room um, I wished I'd gone with thicker metal on this because this one kind of bends. That's 14. Or, no, that's probably 16. 16 or 18, yeah. 14 would have been stronger. Um, this is 4 inches and this is 7 inches. And I wished I'd gone a little bit wider on that, but. You can still see when I line it up right here, there's overhangs and spots like that. And that's why I went with that gasket thick like that. <sighs> Damn weather. Anyhow, um, let me get back to working on stuff and I'll do one last video to show what it looks like done.
Okay. Um, I just got in through and ah, crap. Still got this crud that's going on around. I just installed this t pipe that you see. Um, I made the gasket. Uh, I installed it flock washers right here. And I knew that this being high up like that and the motor shaking a lot, that this would this would break. So I welded these D-rings after I bent them in the vise to put these uh, adjusters on, which I have wires in four directions to make sure you can see how sturdy that thing is. And so that way it's not going anywhere. Now on the box... I showed you on the inside that I uh, plastic glued, glued the plastic, all the, the air used to suck in from here and blow in through here, and I blocked all that off, and then where this goes through, there's a hole on the bottom, and I glued using um, PVC glue. Now you can see I put, uh, well crap, there goes my light, um, sealant all along the edges because I want all the air to come through here. Now I hope you people don't think this is goofy but the reason I'm doing this is because it has such a really crappy air filter system that I am going to have three filter possibly four filter systems to make sure the air that gets inside that motor is not going to be dirty so this piece of crap engineered uh, Kohler will live longer. And this is the APC uh, air filter. I just coated it with um, Yamalube, the Yamaha air filter oil. And it has a lot of sticky stuff in it. And I'm kind of preferring it over the K&N oil filter because it's so sticky. And the stickier, the more uh, dirt it will cover. And that will just fit right up here on top um, yeah it's gonna look like, look like a hot rod pimp mobile but like I said I want it to live the thing that I really would like to have done is put a tractor I don't know if you guys know about this the tractors of old had these um, it was a it, it didn't have an air filter in it but it had a a cyclone system that it would throw the dust and debris out and when it would suck clean fresh air in and that's the real system I'd like to put up here uh, on top of that I have this uh, and I just bought off eBay and that will stop the big particles I'll use um, oh what is it um, bobby pins to kind of hold that down them can be washed or cleaned Ugh! my thing went out of the way and I lose my light but that adds extra filtration so let me pull that off and I was just showing you guys tricks this this trick can be done to a lot of different um, a lot of different mowers and tractors or whatever the main thing is getting the crap out of the air to make it live better now on this one the line goes down and it goes through here I didn't attach it right here because this pulls right up but it turns and I went down to a solid place for it to hook onto so this is being this tab holds it in place and so it's it's not going to move and so you can see how tight these are I've adjusted them and uh, my thing keeps flopping over and I can't get no light here but kind of almost looks like a VW motor in a way but um, the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of them valve covers and get the they have a composite valve cover with uh, better gaskets and uh, because I haven't adjusted the valves and you need to adjust the valves every year on these things uh, and I haven't done it and that's that's something I didn't know till lately 
uh, it wasn't even in the owner's manual. But anyhow, um, these are my tips to keep this crappy Kohler motor running, you know. Um, they could have put a cyclone filter system on there, but no, they didn't. Anyhow, there's also another trick I found out. You can buy, you can see my oil filter in there. They had this little spacer and run a couple of tubes off it and they put a, a oil cooler right here where the wind that is blowing through here will blow through that oil cooler. And that's something else I'm thinking of. Um, you can see I put uh, silicon hoses right here for my, um, oh, that's the hydrostat. Goes up here to the reservoir. The clear ones just literally fall apart in your hands, and it don't take very long for them. Um, that solenoid is off a golf cart. It's a 150 amp slash 500 amp in a pinch uh, solenoid, and I have zero problems with it. So you definitely need a, a bigger solenoid for the starter on this thing. And uh, as you can see up there, parking brake, seat, starter, charge, drive arms is how I marked all of them. Uh, to be honest, I took a lot of the safeties off because they started screwing up. But uh, anyhow, my, my thing is mainly on this filter. And uh, I'll get it uh, installed and get this project done today. This was a, a gasket y'all seen me in the previous video I made up and I glued it up last night and it's nice and squished down so what I'm trying to do is seal all that up so all the air comes through here, filtered air. So anyhow, that's just one of my ideas. Like I said, I'm trying to make this junk run last but longer. Um, paid damn near five grand for this mower and I want it to last a long time so that's my stuff anyhow um, hope somebody could use this on something else and uh, it's a good idea so um, and you know you can go down to any O'Reilly's and pick that stuff up so what is that about three inch pipe yeah Anyhow, so that'll be it. I will see you guys on the next video.